Start off with apply primer to any areas where you feel like you may shine throughout the day. And pin back your hair if there's any in your eyes as well. I decided to go for a good coverage foundation so I wouldn't have to rely on concealer to conceal any of my imperfections. This stage of the makeup application process is a good time to apply primer so it gives us a chance to set before you apply the lipstick over it later. I applied a nude cream eyeshadow base to my eye just to even out any redness. You can really see the difference here between the eye that it's on and not on as I don't want to apply any eyeshadow for this one. Apply a little concealer if you need it around the eye area. For this look and for the eyeliner I decided to go with the sellotape method which I'm not a massive fan of but if you do want to use it make sure you lessen the glue and the stickiness on the back of your hand first by peeling it off a few times so that it's not so aggressive on your face. Now it's time to apply your white eyeliner. I used an Inglot cream eyeliner here and used an angled brush to map out the general shape of the eyeliner. Next I'm going to use a small little pointed eyeliner brush. This is just going to help fill in any of the gaps as it's hard to get it really opaque and flat looking when it's white, especially if it's a very creamy eyeliner. Carefully peel off the sellotape once you have your line perfected. And if you feel that the eyeliner needs a little smoothing out, go over it with a white matte eyeshadow. This will just help it look a little cleaner and neater. Now it's time to pick up your black gel eyeliner. Start really thinly along the base of the white eyeliner and build it up slowly. Remember, it's always easier to add on than to take away, so you don't want to go too thick too soon. You can apply eyelashes if you want, or just loads of mascara. And then for my eyebrows, I decided to go for a light, kind of taupey brown eyeshadow to try and bring down the arch of my eyebrow a bit, just so it's not so harsh looking. I used a translucent setting powder to set my base just to keep everything in place and lightly applied that all over my foundation. For the lips, I chose a black lipstick and started to apply this to my top lip only with a lip brush. My bottom lip, I chose an almost flesh coloured lipstick that I applied all over my bottom lip. You could leave it like this if you wanted to, it'd be good for photographs but it won't last. So I decided to pucker my lips together and see what happened. It's just all about experimenting and just to see how it would turn out. To keep with the monochrome look of the makeup, I decided to go for a grey eyeshadow to use as contour. Just make sure you blend this really well as eyeshadows tend to be very pigmented. And this is pretty much the finished look. Oh, I added a little bit of highlighter at the end as well to give a little bit more dimension to the face. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a million for watching guys. See you soon. Bye.